on today's show, I want to talk about short max versus tall max. I've often gotten the question from guys asking, does height make a difference with your macking? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to touch on that today. I want to touch on that. My thing is this, uh, and the reason why I wanted to touch on this, I was looking at MTV the other day, and they had a thing on there with Chris Brown. And Chris Brown, he's a pretty tall dude. He's a, I think he's like six something. He's a relatively tall kid. Now, I was a tall kid like that when I was his age. And I'm, I'm still tall. I'm like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, but anyway, I digress. I was looking at the special on MTV, and they had Chris Brown. They were following him around, doing his little daily thing. And I noticed that out of all the child entertainers or the young entertainers like that, he has a, a calm swagger about himself. It ain't no overly gangster shit like you're overly trying to compensate. And I noticed that he was at a club and he was like dancing and goofing off with his friends. And that's very rare with entertainers in this hip hop climate that we have. That's very rare that a lot of male entertainers who are on top of the charts like that can go out and just really goof off and have a good time and enjoy themselves. A lot of entertainers have to put on fronts and act extra tough and extra hard. And one of the reasons why I think Chris Brown has the kind of swagger he has is because of his height. Sometimes your height gives you a psychological advantage. See, when you're a certain height, naturally people will garnish a certain level of respect for you automatically. Automatically you get a certain level of respect if you're a certain height. That's a psychological thing in humans and in animals. Not to say that shorter people don't get respect, but when you're tall, you automatically get that. Because uh, I know as a kid, nobody really fucked with me. I was always a tall kid in school, in high school. I was a tall, lanky dude. I wasn't on no rah-rah shit, but nobody never really fucked with me. It's like the giraffe syndrome. Like in, in the jungles in Africa, giraffes, they're, they're the tallest land animals. But giraffes are relatively harmless. They'll swing that neck and headbutt the shit out of a, a person or, or another animal. But giraffes are relatively harmless animals. But they're so tall, nobody even fucks with them. They get that level of respect automatically simply because of that height. And plus, if you go to a zoo or something and you get over there by them giraffes, you get a little nervous. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get a little nervous because they're so goddamn big. They're not going to do nothing to you. You never heard of anybody getting killed by a giraffe. Not that I've heard of. But just that height, you respect them because of the height. You respect the size. And it's the same thing with humans, man. <clears throat> man what the fuck? I need some Robitussin in this motherfucker. But like I said, I digress. But you get a certain level of respect when you're a certain height. Now, in the rap game, in the, the music industry, you notice the parallel. Because, again, I was looking at Chris Brown and I saw how relaxed he was as opposed to other entertainers that you see on MTV because they follow around other entertainers all the time. And these niggas got to be on some extra gangster, um, ultra hard shit. And I, the reason... Because of that is the, the, the rap game. A lot of rappers are relatively short. Most rappers are very, very, very short. Some of them look big on TV. But a lot of those cats are hella short. Hotline, who's calling? Hello? Hello? Yo, who's calling? Hey, player. Hello? You, you, play, can you hear me, player? Yeah. All right, what's on your mind, man? What's your name? Oh, man, this is Quincy, man. All right, where you calling what's from? What's going on? What's, uh, I'm calling from Houston, Texas, man. All right, what's on your mind, Quinn? Hey, man, uh, I'm in a dating situation right now, man. Go ahead. So, um, I've been in my first relationship. You've been you're in your, and, first, you know, you're, I, you're in your first relationship right this. now. All right. Yeah, I'm in my first ever relationship. How old are you? And, How old are you, Quincy? 21 years old. All right, go ahead. All right, you know, this is this girl that I used to like in high school. You know, I'm meeting her back now. 
I just happened to run into her. You know, we hooked up, we hooked up real good and everything, you know. Okay. You know, she loves me and I love her. You know, and I'm just, you know, recognizing the game. I didn't have a game back then when I was in high school. Okay. You know, but when I read into your books and all the podcasts, you know, I'm starting to realize, you know, I have, you know, more women checking me out. That's what's up. You know, and I, you know, and I'm telling her, I'm, you know, teaching her the game also, you know, helping her realize, you know, she's fresh too. She only been with one other dude. Good. I'm her second man, you know. Okay. So uh, how got in the situation letting her know that, you know, she has her hoochie stage, you know, she's getting attention too from other guys. Okay. And I'm getting attention from other women. So how do I handle that situation in a, you know, professional manner? Not making it seem like I'm breaking her heart. You know, I'm, you know, I kind of feel like I'm guilty for, you know, leading her on. You know, she loves me to death. You know, I'm getting attention from her. She's calling me up all the time. You know what I'm saying? So what, how do you think you're leading her on because of what? I mean, you don't want to be with her? I mean, I want to be with her. I still love her. You know, we, we real cool. We friends and everything, man. But? I just don't want to. I don't want to break her heart, you know, but, you know, I know I'm still young. So, so you want right some, now. you want to bang some other pussy, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay let's get to the point. You, you beating around the bush. Let's go on out and say it. You want some, some other poon tag. And I can understand yeah. that you shouldn't get into a committed relationship if you still have the, the desire to go out there and get your bang on. Now, with that being said, if she's fly and has her shit right, you should kind of hold on to that because out there in the dating pool, it's really nothing out there, man, to be honest. To find a good down-ass chick is really rare these days. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Now, is she? how does she look? Uh, I would say she's not the dime type, but uh, maybe like the six or seven. Okay, you know this what just, okay what, this is the kind of chick, what happened that you got with the first chick that gave you play. Now yeah. that, that kind of boosted up your confidence and you want to kind of upgrade a little bit. So I understand that. So you just don't lead her on anymore. Don't make it seem like you're going to be on, on some long-term shit with her. But you feel guilty about trying to break it off. Just still remain friendly with her. But just slowly, you know, let her know that, you know, let's both of us do our thing. Don't start shooting right. no, no, no bullshit to her now on the same token player. If some other dudes start hollering at her, she try to get with some other dudes. Don't you start getting all Brian McKnight. You know what I'm saying? Don't you get yeah. bent all out of shape if she's hollering at other dudes or whatever. Because if you holler at other bitches, she can holler at other dudes. <laughs> you dig? That, that's that, I, I that's that, that paradigm, man. right? <laughs> all right, but think about that, man. All right, thanks for the call, player. Hey, shout out to uh, United Players of America. For sure, for sure. Hotline, who's calling? Yo, King Flex, happy new year to you, my brother. Happy new year, player. Who's this? This is DDT Holmes representing the official UPA. How you doing? That's what's up, player. Uh, for those who don't know, that's the United Players of America um, message board, officialupa.com. And you can check that out right now, officialupa.com. All the best players all around the world get together and chop up games. And what's on your mind today, man? Uh, not too much, not too much, man. Just, you know, calling and, uh, you know, giving a shout out for all the Max over down. You know, we're getting ready for this war with the Simp World Order. Uh, I'm sorry. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But thanks for the call, player. All right. But, um, yeah, and also, I'm going to get some moderators. A lot of the members have been wanting to be moderators over there at the um, official UPA site, United Players of America. And um, I got to holler at Creo GQ so we can hook that up. What's up, Creo? My nigga Creo GQ. We're going to get some of those guys to be moderators over there because they've been holding it down at the board. And, and even on my blog, I want to shout out everybody on my blog at um, myspace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed. That's another place where you can chop up game. A lot of people from official UPA is on my blog. What's up, Paul? What's up, Shy town Flawless? What's up, Big D? What's up, Holly G? Looking fly. Poppy Chulo. Wayne. Silverback, Crown Vic, all you players over there, a square's worst nightmare, a square's worst nightmare, give the tongue twisters and shit. But anyway, let me get back to the game. Let me get back to the game. So like I was saying about the tall guys versus the short guys, in the hip-hop game, you have a lot of dudes who are very short. I've been to hip-hop events, and I'm like the tallest dude in there. I mean, these niggas are little. And... 
when a guy, in many cases, especially a guy growing up in the hood, when you're a short guy, a lot of times people will try to punk you out. People try to punk the shit out of you. And you have to do something. You have to have some kind of defense mechanism. So when you're in the hood, you kind of got to mean mug a little bit. You got to have an ice grill a little bit. You got to have a serious demeanor so niggas won't step to you. You got to kind of overcompensate for that. Because in the hood, it's like survival of the fittest. They take advantage of anything that's perceived as weak. So a lot of niggas who are short got to overcompensate by being on some ultra gangster shit. Especially a lot of rappers. And that's another reason why a lot of rappers get gun charges. Because a lot of rappers are very short. And a lot of them, motherfuckers be trying to get at them. They be trying to rob them. So security ain't even enough. Just the psychological advantage that a lot of these niggas out here in the streets think they have on the average rapper. They try to step to him and challenge him. That's why T.I. has a gun charge. He's a short dude. Um, Prodigy from Mob Deep, he's a little dude. He had a gun charge. Lil Wayne, he got a gun charge. And, you know, he, he plays the whole gangster role. And other entertainers, I know Cat Williams, they caught him, you know, with a gun not too long ago. Well, uh, like a year ago. And he's a short dude. I mean, And he admitted that people, you know, would try to get at him. People would try to rob him when he did comedy events. So a lot of times, again, that shortness makes you have to overcompensate in some cases, especially if you're on some hood shit. Now we got like Lil Bow Wow trying to be on some gangster shit. I mean, we've seen him on, on YouTube and a lot of people talking about him on the net, how he's showing out trying to be on some ultra gangster shit because it's that, that short man's complex that a lot of dudes have. All dudes don't have it. It's certain dudes who have it. Hotline, who's calling? Um, hi, my name is Frida. Frida, where you calling from, babe? Um, Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola, Florida. What's on your mind today, babe? Um, what kind of advice do you have for someone who's going to start like an internet business? Um, what type of internet business are you trying to start? Um, a fitness. Fitness. Fit, a fitness business? Yes. Fitness or titness? You about to show your titties on the internet, Freedom? <laughs> oh, it's fitness. Okay. I have braces, sorry. Oh, okay. okay. How old are you? I'm 23. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so are you trying to be a, a, do like an exercise video or an exercise for what what exactly are you trying to do with the fitness um i'm on one of your friends list on my face i just like won a thousand dollars for beach body oh really and um they're basically i have like a business thing that i can do with them it's like a new network marketing thing okay okay um like fitness coaching but i don't have to like get certification or anything Oh, okay, well, let me see what you look like first, because I can tell you to do this and get this cracking, and then you send a picture, and you got a big-ass gut with a stab wound in it. Um, send a picture on um, my MySpace page. You said you remember, but I, I can't remember the name offhand. And um, some of my guys at the official UPA message board, they can help you out with that, too, because I have a lot of business-minded brothers over there, and they got a lot of good website ideas. So chop it up with them, all right? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, acting nervous. I'm not going to bite y'all now. People call up here sounding like I'm about to rip their heads off. I'm not. I'm, a, I'm cool in the game. But like I was saying about certain short guys having insecurities. Certain. Not all. Because I know some short dudes who are like extra confident. But they also, they call that a Napoleon complex. When guys try to be ultra gangster, a lot of short guys have a, a an ultra attitude. We all heard of the Napoleon complex, and the Napoleon complex is real because the real Napoleon, who was a short dude, Napoleon was gangster as hell. Napoleon was whooping all types of ass. He's considered one of the greatest military leaders in history. Napoleon didn't fuck around, and I think that was because of his size. 
and people found out how short he was, you know, they kind of, you know, kind of ridiculed the guy. But he's like, ridicule this when I take over your shit. Napoleon was ruthless with his shit. Ruthless. So sometimes that can work to your advantage. Sometimes that works to the advantage of a lot of rappers because a lot of them are short. It makes them work that much harder to get up out the hood. Now, when you're dealing with women on that level, you don't have to play the whole hard gangster role. That's the problem with a lot of short dudes. A lot of them have to play that hard gangster role. I know some dudes who ain't on that gangster shit who are real short. You can play the cute teddy bear role with the women and still get them. Just because you're short, that's not going to really put you at a disadvantage with the women. Don't ever think that because I get a lot of guys saying, well, damn, Flex, I'm only 5'7 and... You know, whoop de woo. That can work to your advantage, nigga. Your your game just has to be a little more crisp. I knew a dude who was damn near a midget. I mean, this dude was like four ten. He was like almost a midget, but just not quite. He was almost a midget. Almost. That nigga could barely get on rides at six flags. And I just ran into him recently. I just saw him recently after years and years and years. But this dude would get bras all the time back in the day. He called me up like, hey, Flex, man, come on to the crib. I got some females. He would hook me up with females. Short as hell. Nigga be shopping at the Baby Gap like a motherfucker, bling-blinging with a bitch. Because he had that confidence. And he didn't try to play the gangster role. He was a fun-loving dude, but he just didn't hang on. He wasn't on no hood shit. That's another thing. If you're a short dude, you you should stay away from the hood anyway. But he'd be out there in the suburbs, out there in the malls, campaigning. Had his gear tight, had his game tight, and the women liked it. They thought it was like on some cute teddy bear shit. You use that to your advantage. See, with a lot of rappers... They try to cater to the to the male hip hop demographic, which is their, their their audience is female. Really, this is why these niggas sell so many records. Their audience is female, but they want to have that street cred, so they gotta act all extra hard, kind of catering to the dudes, but inadvertently catering to the women. But they really need that street cred, so that's why a lot of short rappers get into so much bullshit trying to maintain that street cred. You don't have to do that. So don't let height fuck with your game. Don't ever feel like you have to do some extra shit. Just stay away from that element. If you feel like you have to be something other than yourself, stay away from that punk-ass element. You should be out of the hood anyway. Hotline, who's calling? Oh, this TJ. What's up, man? Where are you calling from? Houston, Texas. All right, what's on your mind today, man? Hey, uh, Tyree, if you don't mind, could you uh, go ahead and uh, reiterate on that sexual tension uh, topic? Because I remember the last one you had, uh, Carlos keep calling in, and you kept messing up your flow and everything. So I just want to get like a better picture or, you know, an overview of what exactly the whole sexual I'm, I'm, I'll be real brief. I'll be real brief about it, man, because the show, even though there were a lot of interruptions, I still got the gist of the message out. Yeah, yeah. And, and basically with sexual tension is that when you're with a female, you don't let her know boldly that you want to bang her you kind of let the let the tension build up that's basically what i'm saying like when you're in a work environment with somebody you can't overtly say okay i want to bang you so what happens is that when you work with somebody another female or the opposite sex a lot of sexual tension builds up because you can't be bold like that so you have to create that sexual tension within your interpersonal relationships with like the chick you meet at the club or whatever don't just like if you're on a date don't be cupcaking with her through the whole day just kind of treat her like one of the homies and create some tension have her wondering damn does this nigga want to get with me have her that that's what sexual tension is got it gotcha okay thanks for a lot man all right but anyway man on my short max my tall max keep your game strong no matter what always depend on your confidence and your game if you're a short dude don't trip on that shit some of the best players in the world have been little bitty dudes you don't have to be on no ultra gangster shit to try to fit in just be yourself keep it mackish you're gonna be all right stay away from knucklehead niggas anyway let me get this one last call hotline who's calling <laughs> i want to tell you you're wonderful 
Who the hell is uh, being a oh, he did a really good job of being a wonderful male chauvinist pig. Hallelujah. The hell is this? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Y'all gotta start giving more money to the damn March of Dimes. Cause y'all letting the retards play with the phones over there. We need more funding for Jerry's kids. Y'all letting the goddamn retards get on the phone. Y'all not supervising over there at the Jerry's Kids Foundation. Get on your damn job. One more call. Hotline, who's calling? My man, King Flex. What's up, player? Who's calling? What's up, man? It's G. Evans from San Diego. What's up, man? What's going on with you? What's up, man? Just calling in. I saw you had a show today. I just wanted to call in and see what was going on. What's the topic? Oh, I'm just chopping up. We're about to end the show in a minute, man. So just give a shout out to everybody out there in San Diego. Oh, for sure, man. I just want to see, uh, have you seen that show, Hellgate? Yeah, I have. I know a lot of girls on there, too. What do you think about the guys on there? I see some of those guys. That, I mean, the girls are putting them through extremes, and they're still, you know, they're still on some simp shit. That's a, that's, you know what? That's a good question, man, because I watched that show, and I know some of the girls, some of the, the actresses. I know some of them. So, right. but even if I didn't know them and some of the shit that would be going down, I would have stopped that date a long time ago. When the right. Them that's niggas, what I said. If it was me, <laughs> wouldn't be no hell date. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That shit would have lasted for like five or ten minutes. Them niggas be like letting the women talk to them any kind of way. The women be throwing shit on them. I'm like, damn, nigga. It'll be a whole different show with me. It'll be American Gladiator because I beat the brakes off one of them bitches. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, but thanks for the call, player. All right, bro. Yeah, I noticed that on Hell Day, man. Some of these dudes be letting these women do all types of shit and talk to them all types of ways. I would have been cussed one of them motherfuckers out immediately. But that's just how I roll. I'm going to do another show on that, on how to check women hard. And I've told y'all niggas about checking women, and you got to check them immediately. It do, it do be a lot of simp shit going on on Hell Day. I'm going to give a shout out to the Hell Day girls. What's up, Leah and Zakia? I see y'all asses on there. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's Mag Lessons Radio Show. On today's show, I want to talk about short max versus tall max. I've often gotten the question from guys asking, does height make a difference with your macking? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to touch on that today. I want to touch on that. My thing is this, uh, and the reason why I wanted to touch on this, I was looking at MTV the other day, and they had a thing on there with Chris Brown. And Chris Brown, he's a pretty tall dude. He's a, I think he's like six something. He's a relative. Give you a psychological advantage. See, when you're a certain height, naturally people will garnish a certain level of respect for you automatically. Automatically, you get a certain level of respect if you're a certain height. That's a psychological thing in humans and in animals. Not to say that shorter people don't get respect, but when you're tall, you automatically get that. Uh, Because I know as a kid, nobody really fucked with me. I was always a tall kid in school, in high school. I was a tall, lanky dude. I wasn't on no rah-rah shit, but nobody never really fucked with me. It's like the giraffe syndrome. Like in in the jungles in Africa, giraffes, they're they're the tallest land animals. But giraffes are relatively harmless. They'll swing that neck and headbutt the shit out of a a person or, or another animal. But giraffes are relatively harmless animals. But they're so tall, nobody even fucks with them. They get that level of respect automatically simply because of that height. And plus, if you go to a zoo or something and you get over there by them giraffely tall kid. I was a tall kid like that when I was his age. And I'm I'm still tall. I'm like 6'4", 6'5". But anyway, I digress. I was looking at the special on MTV and they had Chris Brown. They were following him around, doing his little daily thing. And I noticed that out of all the child entertainers or the young entertainers like that, he has a a calm swagger about himself. It ain't no overly gangster shit like you're overly trying to compensate. And I noticed that he was at a club and he was like dancing and goofing off with his friends. And that's very rare with entertainers in this hip hop climate that we have. That's very rare that a lot of male entertainers 
who are on top of the charts like that can go out and just really goof off and have a good time and enjoy themselves. A lot of entertainers have to put on fronts and act extra tough and extra hard. And one of the reasons why I think Chris Brown has the kind of swagger he has is because of his height. Sometimes your height 